Okay, guys, we're here on 125th Street. Um, we came here to uh, this uh, call of smoke and several businesses, mainly McDonald's in the basement and the first floor. Uh, you also have smoke seeping into seeping into the um, Chase Bank, and you can see the smoke billowing um, above. They did some opening up in there. They opened up a couple walls. Uh, it's been going on for an hour, or so they're looking for the source of this smoke. They haven't transmitted anything, uh, but we'll see if they do. It smells either electrical in nature or something else. You can't tell, but you can see the smoke pouring out of the um, out of the store. They got smoke in the uh, Chase Bank and they got smoke on the building around the corner, some sort of business. I don't know if they're gonna put that ladder up. They're gonna put the tower ladder up right now. So, um, they're probably gonna transmit the box any second now. They're gonna They're gonna put the tower ladder up. Maybe they're gonna investigate on top of the building. It's a very large building and they might find the source of this smoke. Uh, it's a pretty decent heavy smoke condition and um, for as long as it's been going on, you know, it's um something they need to really investigate further one six alpha alpha yeah next time we'll uh, continue to operate with the uh, all units uh, looking for the source of the light smoke condition alpha 10 four. He's gonna tell McDonald's that. <coughs> they have members standing by just in case they gotta stretch a line. We'll see what he tells um, Manhattan. He's gonna tell him something. One four, show for the one four. One four. Yeah, Let's see what they tell them. Look at this smoke. That's a lot of smoke for whatever it is and however long it's been going on. And they kind of find it. It smells electrical, but it also has a, a smell like of um, burnt food and stuff like that. <coughs> Look at the bank. It's loaded with smoke. It's pushing all over the place. Okay, they put the tower ladder up. Yeah, uh, so it, at first it had an electrical smell then it had a, a burnt food smell. So I don't know, they're looking at all their options. I don't know if they're gonna take any windows or anything.
All right, they're looking all around to see what's what. The checkers had some smoke too when we arrived. I don't know if it still does. And there's smoke coming out of a vent there. So whatever it is, it's in a very, very uh, hidden area. Yeah, the checker still has a little bit of smoke venting. And then the vent up there has. I think that they're gonna get ready to. I think they're gonna get ready to um, put a uh, tower ladder 14 into into uh, operations. They're setting it up, anyways. So we're gonna stand by and watch. It looks like the smoke is dissipating a tiny bit, but it's still pushing as you can see right there. It's coming right this way. I'm gonna clear the lens. There you go. Doing the uh, checkers again. Trying to get uh, access to the drop ceiling over here. This is on 125th Street and uh, oh geez, uh, let's see, St. Nicholas Avenue. Uh, fans are still running, I'm just still pumping out smoke. There's a Mitsubishi split in it. Uh, that was on pretty uh, going pretty good. We shut the power to those, so let me know if it stops pumping in the smoke into the uh, kitchen. All right, 10-4, we're, we're gonna give it a minute. Let's see if it lifts. He said that they uh, shut down some kind of a mechanical. Uh, machine or something or the other anyway they're checking it out we're checking it out everybody's checking it out I still see a lot of smoke pushing right there if you can see it look at that it's even getting worse look at all that smoke rolling out of there I mean, it's not a tremendous, tremendous amount of smoke, but it's enough to be alarming. So, I hope they find the source. They got a nail salon up there as well. A couple other businesses up there, but it seems to be on the lower floors. There's sky to fire poking around. It looks a better. It looks a little better. We'll see. All right, they're going down to the basement of the uh, Checkers Cozy and Good Food Store over there. They sent one member down. I see a little bit of smoke pushing from that vent. Yeah, I'm going to 
Battalion 1-6. Battalion 1-6. Progress report on Box 1474. Box 1474. We're still using 2-2. Two two. The rest of the ass. Still investigating the small position. He's still using just two and two. Uh, uh, they were getting the tower ladder ready. He came and grabbed some tools and whatnot. It's bitterly cold out here too. Look at the smoke pouring out of there. Might be in the bank, who knows? The money's burning. Look at it. I think they're gonna do the 1075. They're forcing entry into the bank. Let me poke around and see if they're gonna do it. Yeah, this, this bank is filling up with smoke. Whatever kind of smoke it is, the bank is filling up. Let me see what he tells Manhattan. Manhattan call on box 7153 to be located the IMEA line. That's between West 125th Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. Report of an odor of smoke on the mezzanine. Manhattan call on box 7153 located on the IMEA line. That's between West 125th Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. To report of smoke in the mezzanine. All right, now they're reporting smoke in one of the uh, subway lines downstairs. It's a lot of smoke. Anyway, just to show you, uh, still waiting around. Um, another call came in for smoke in a train station down here. So we don't know if that's associated with it, but those units are coming in now. Two, three to Shelford. Shelford. Yeah, is there anything else to be shot on the roof? I've shot everything there is except for those two exhaust fans that are coming from above the kitchen, the McDonald's kitchen. All right, come. One floor to battalion. Battalion. You guys see if we get another suite for the basement. Uh, you're all, all clear, all checked out. Uh, the haze is totally lifted. Uh, basement completely clear. Seven four. All right, those are the, the units coming in for the smoke condition in the subway. That sounds like ladder 30. I don't know what it is. Anyway, that's all that's going on here. We got your EMS, FDNY, Mount Sinai, conditions unit. Uh, they didn't put this tower ladder up, but it looks like they um, shut down some mechanisms in there could be air conditioning units or this and that and the other and they searched the basement and they found nothing out of whack down there uh, smoke looks like it's lifting nicely so i'm gonna hang around a little longer Give you a quick update the units that came for the uh, subway smoke didn't find anything and they think that the smoke is coming from this situation 
Uh, this situation, the smoke is getting a little better, but they're still looking for it. Um, like I said before, they turned off a few mechanical items and the smoke lifted a little bit better. So we'll see. Okay, conditions remain the same. The members are in there. I don't I don't see where they went. But I think they're taking the uh, ladder down. Either way, uh, this is all that's happening right now in Manhattan. So we came and we saw. Uh, the members are still in there. If you look inside the McDonald's, they knocked down a whole bunch of tiles and stuff looking for it. McDonald's smoke seems to have lifted. And then they opened up a wall over there, right there. They tore that apart, see if they could find it in the walls. This McDonald's is going to be out of commission tomorrow. The chief is talking to them. Anyway, I'm going to warm the hands up. Yeah, they're bringing that down, it looks like. They did what they had to do on the roof. Let me warm up. All right, now they're checking out the bank situation, see if they find anything. Still a decent amount of smoke pushing. I may go sit in the car, it all depends on how much longer this goes on for. It's been going on for more than an hour for sure. There's a lot of ice down there, so I don't wanna break my neck. Looks like the smoke is lifting better now. So that's good. All right, we'll check it out. Uh, looks like it's lifting and didn't transmit the box, so that's good. Uh, there's a lot of movement back and forth and a lot of opening up still. Uh, and you see what's going on. I'm gonna go sit in the car and warm up. If nothing comes of it, or at least we uh, came and saw, like I said early on. All right, they're opening up some tiles in there. They just opened that one. They're looking in with a flashlight. And they knocked down a couple other ones over there. Right there. And there. And there. The EMS that was here are all leaving, so probably not gonna transmit to 1075. And if they did, they would get new units. All right, so it looks like it's lifting nicely. They might release some of these units, but I'm not sure.
it looks like Tower Ladder 23 is going back uptown. Info on uh, E372. Alright, looks like they're releasing a couple of units for now. Let me just show you some of the debris in there. Any of that Fox 8372, you locate on the FDR Drive southbound at 8 17 for a jumper. Any of that Fox 8, Looks like 14's going home too across town. They go that way. Alright. Um whatever it is or whatever it was, we'll never know. But we came in, we saw. I'm gonna go in the car and see what kind of a report he gives. As the final signal, they'll be giving it shortly. Let me see if I can catch the report in the uh, car. Over an hour. Battalion 1 6 to Manette. Battalion 1 6. Fox 1474. We're still operating with uh, 2 and 2 of the rest fast. We've located the source of the smoke condition and we're just trying to mess out the building at this point. Uh, 10 4 Battalion 1 6. Duration of your incident. One hour, 35 minutes. Battalion 1-6. One, 1-6, six. One, six, 10 four. One, 12, four, five, nine. That announcing all hand is box 1474. Address 352 West 125 Street, Morningside, between Nicholas Avenue, is under control. And that announcing all hands, Box 1474, 352 West 125 Street, Morningside, after St. Nicholas Avenue. Is under control. 124, the time is 514. 